hello yeah welcome in this section we'll be looking at when f of x is in form of product you know your inhomogeneous equation f of x is not equal to zero now it's not equal to zero it means it's equal to some function now in a situation whereby f of x is equal to the product of two or more function what do you do so in this class we'll be looking at example where our f of x is what equal to product of function now where is my f of x what is here is my f of x and the f of x here is what is equal to two functions multiplying each other where we have the word polynomial multiplying the word exponential now how do we solve it you now to get the general solution of this particular question we all know that the general solution is y is equal to yc plus y p okay now let's deal with yc first now to get the yc i will have to transform the question to what d operator by saying is the same thing as d square plus 4d plus 3 y is equal to 6x square exponential minus x now i can bring in my what auxiliary equation my auxiliary equation which is the same thing as m square plus 4m plus 3. Now, if I solve this auxiliary equation using quadratic equation method, my m is equal to minus 1 and then my m can also be what minus 3. Therefore, my yc, which you all know how I'm going to, which you all know the final answer, is the same thing as a exponential minus x plus b exponential minus 3x. Okay, that's for yc. Now, let's go into yp. Back to the D operator, we all know that our D operator, since we've gotten our YC, our D operator will now be D square my plus 4D plus 3 of Y. But at this point, we are looking for YP. So I won't put ordinary Y there. I'll put YP is equal to 6X square exponential minus X. Now, what is my YP? Now, since, since F of X is equal to 6x squared exponential minus x. Now, what would be my yp? Our yp is, you know, this is a polynomial. This is an exponential function multiplying each other. So our yp will be the format of polynomial multiplying the format of what? Exponential. So the format of exponential should be k exponential minus x. And the format of ym polynomial should be ax plus b we all know that from our previous classes they will multiply together but i notice that my exponential is minus one meaning my b is what minus one and then inside my yc i'm having minus one here now it's the same and we all know the rule once it is the same we won't use this we'll use kx exponential minus x abby okay now let's write i cannot say my yp is for the polynomial which is ax plus b that's for the polynomial now for the exponential because the b you know go back to your exponential video you know where you are told that if m is equal to b then the the yp will be what x exponential x exponential b x but if b is now repeated k times it will now be x raised power k exponential bx. But at this point, our b and m are equal. So that's why I'm using x exponential b mi minus x. Here you get. So don't let me use k. Let me use the under letter. Let me use um even wait. My b will not be this. Since it is you no know, in our last video, I explained that if your b is six, if your b is six x, then the yp will be ax plus b. If you see b is ordinary a number which is a constant, meaning k is raised to power zero, then the yp will be what a value. Let's just say a. If it is a x to power four, six x to power four, then that would be a x to power four plus b x to power three plus c x to power two plus d x plus e. But now it is six x square, then it will be a x square plus b x plus c. So my yp is the same thing as ax square plus bx plus c that's for polynomial this one now for the exponential which is this let's use d that's dx exponential minus x so this is my what yp 
I can clean this part. We don't need them again. Show you get. Okay, now let's pose the seed. <clears throat> now at this point, I can decide to open the bracket. Let's open the bracket at this angle. Don't let us waste our board. By opening the bracket, I'll be having it to be um a times this you get. So if we are to multiply that, we we'll apply law of indices. That will be yp. Let me use my black pen. My black pen. Yp is now equal to ax squared times dx exponential minus x. That will give us ad ad x is part three exponential minus x bx times dx exponential that will be plus bd x square exponential minus x and c times that will give us plus plus c d x exponential minus x okay now at this point this is a constant this is a constant multiplying each other a constant times constant will still give us another constant so i can say that yp is now equal to ad a constant multiplier another constant is giving us constant k1 x is power 3 exponential minus x plus bd constant constant is another constant that's constant k2 x square exponential minus x and cd that gives us constant k3 x exponential minus x if you look at everything exponential is common so i can factorize it out by saying yp is the same thing as exponential minus x into bracket k1 x is power 3 plus k2 x is power 2 plus k3 x is power 1 so you get x is power 1 close the bracket so that's my what yp now if i'm to substitute it into this place you know how we substitute now it means we'll look for okay let me substitute it don't let us assume you know it already so i can say what is there will now be the same thing as d square plus 4d plus 3 of yp what is my yp my yp is exponential minus x into bracket k1 x is power 3 plus k2 x square plus k3 x close the bracket which is equal to 6x square exponential minus x now um what is the meaning of this means we are going to find the second derivative of this we are going to multiply 4 with the first derivative of this and we are going to multiply 3 to this okay now let's pick it one after the other if yp if yp is equal to exponential x exponential minus x let me write that very well exponential minus x into bracket k1 into bracket k1 x cube plus k2 x square plus k3 x okay therefore the derivative of it the d of yp that's if you have to differentiate it will be the same thing as what product true product true says that you write the first one exponential minus x you differentiate the second if i differentiate this as 3k1 x square plus 2k2 x plus k3 okay plus that will be minus plus write the second one you know the my okay the, if you differentiate minus exponential x it gives us minus exponential minus x so that will give us okay then let us do mistake let's just put out through again put out through this is my u this is my v u v so this is u dv plus v du now that du is minus exponential minus x into bracket k1 x is power 3 plus k2 x is power 2 plus k3 x okay now um that's our what our definition if by definition if you differentiate that we have this figure now what is the second derivative d square d square yp is equal to i want to differentiate what is there using product true let's pick it two by two if i pick this first one product true okay here you get that will be this will be u this will be u and this will be my v then after that i pick this one and this one another product true this will be my what 
this will be my u this will be my dv to get the second derivative so let's start with this first one now write your u that's exponential minus x into bracket now differentiate what is it that's 6k 1x plus 2k 2 that's all close the bracket here you get now that's u dv plus v du that will give us minus exponential minus x into bracket 3k1 x square plus 2k2 x plus k3. I've differentiated that yellow one. Let me highlight it so that you know that is the one we've differentiated. Here you get. Okay, let me highlight it. This is for the yellow. Using product rule to get the second derivative. Now plus big plus paragi. Now let's apply product rule on the second one. It says that u. This will be my what? This will be my u. This will be my v. Now using product rule on that, we have it to be u dv. Differentiate what is there. That's three k one x square plus two k two x plus k three. That's u dv plus v du. The du is the same thing as exponential x because minus times minus will be plus exponential sorry not exponential x that's exponential minus x into bracket k1 x cube plus k2 x square plus k3 x let me explain again now look at it i have to apply product rule on this and this this is my u this is my v <clears throat> according to the definition u dv plus v this v v du show you get now let me highlight that one with the blue so that you identify what we are you understand better show you get okay so this is my this part now is my what this part here is my the the derivative of yp and this part here is the what second derivative of what yp now how to combine everything together into this particular equation let me highlight it with another color let's use green okay into this particular expression we want to substitute our first and second derivative into what is here okay now let me change my lighting pen to blue thank you now let's substitute okay now should we substitute first or we should first factorize okay let's see if we can factorize the second derivative because if you have to substitute the second derivative for my lofa here you get it will be very 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 wide so instead of that, let's just what? Let's factorize first. Okay. All right. Um, okay. By factorization, I can say that my d square yp is equal to exponential minus x is common in everything. Okay. So if exponential minus x is common, then I have this first one to be 6k1x plus 2k2. This minus will affect this ones here. So let me use the under pen. That's minus 3k1x square minus 2k2x minus k3. Now for this one, this one here, you know there's minus here. And when we are factorized, we did not factorize minus out. So the minus will affect, which is minus 3k1x square minus 2k2x minus k3. And then for the last one, which is this, it is positive. So that will be plus k1x cube plus k2x square plus k3x. Okay, so we factorize that. Let's see if there's tendency of adding some together. So I have it to be d square yp is equal to exponential minus x into bracket. Let's see if there's any one we can add together. Let me start with um, k1x 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 i only have this to be k1x look at it this is k1x this is k2 k1x square no k1x square no k1x cube no so we only have one k1x so i can say that this is 6k1x now let's go with um k1x square i'm still dealing with k1 i've not gotten to k2 this is this one here k1x square yes 
This is another k1 x square. Yes, that's all. There's no more k1 x square. No, now minus sticky k1 x square minus sticky k1 x square is going to give us minus 6 k1 x square. Now don't forget we've picked this already. We've picked this already and we've picked this already. Okay, let's move on. Let's pick k2. Ordinary k2. This is ordinary k2, no x attached to it. Is there any other K2, no X attached to it? No, 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 no. So that will be plus 2K2. So we've picked these two. Now let's move, let's move to K2X. K2X. This is K2X. This is K2X. Is there any other K2X? Yes, this is under K2X. Is there anything, any other K2X? No. Now if you look at it very well, K2X minus 2K2X minus 2k2x that will give us minus 4 minus 4k2x okay we've done this we've done this so i'm cycling it so that we won't get confused now here i have minus k3 minus k3 if i pick those two together it gives us minus 2k3 so we've picked this we've picked this now we are left with this part so this part is just ordinary k3 um k1s cube k2x square and k3 ordinary x shaded so i can just attach that to it by saying plus k1 x cube plus k2 x square plus k3 x okay so that is my what yp now i want to substitute wow this equation will be very long but just pay attention therefore my second order which is this going to substitute into this e equation so just maintain this let's just pay attention look at this part please i'm putting it here so that we won't make mistakes now let's substitute it there now the second derivative of yp which is this so i can say that is equal to the second derivative of yp which is exponential minus x into bracket 6k1x minus 6k1x square plus 2k2 minus 4k2x minus 2k3 plus k1x cube plus k2x square plus k3x okay let's close the bracket that's our what second derivative plus first derivative this is our first derivative here Oh, we did not factorize it to get out the other time, but we can still do that. Now, let's just factorize the exponentials out. I can see it's the same thing as plus exponential minus x into bracket. Into bracket. But don't forget, 4 is multiplying it, 4d. So, 4 is multiplying everything inside the bracket. Now, 4 times 3k1x squared, that will be 12k1x squared. 4 times 2, that's plus 8k2x. 4 times k cube plus 4k cube. Minus affect everything here. So everything you'll be having minus. So there's 4 that is multiplying it. That will be minus 4k1x cube minus 4k2x square and then minus 4k3 x so this for let's close the bracket this is for second derivative first derivative but the constant the constant is that ordinary tiggy multiplying it so i can at the same time say that okay it is positive abby that's plus plus exponential minus x yes because minus x will be factorized out now tiggy is multiplying everything inside the bracket that's um tiggy k1 x cube plus 3k2x square plus 3k3x close the bracket all equal to all equal to my right hand side what is my right hand side that's 6x square exponential minus x that's 6x square exponential minus x okay that's 6x square exponential minus x okay so um exponential x that's um with that's what we use to get our what let's see our yp now from here exponential is common in everything so better still i can factorize the old exponential out so you get 
So, and even I can go straight to the point because there's exponential x here. So, if I factorize this exponential, this exponential, this exponential out, exponential will cancel exponential. Therefore, I can let go of all exponential at both sides. Then I deal with all those k, 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 k. So, now let's work with, um, let's see how we can put the case together so that it will be very, very easy for us. So, you get, okay, now let's start with x raised to power 3. Let's pick those k that is having x is power 3 in them. If you are to look at it, um, even, okay, let's pick those x that is having x is power 3 in them. If you are to look at it, I can say that um, x is power 3, this is not just 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 power 3, this x is power 3. So I have k1, k1, so this is out. Okay, let's move on. Since we are factorizing everything together, this is not x is part three. This is not x is part three. This is not this x is part three. So I can call this out as minus four k one x is part three. X is part three. This is under x is part three. I can call this out, which is what plus three k one. Here you get okay. Then I can put it into bracket by putting x is part three on it. That's the first one. Now let's pick x is part two plus into bracket. Let's pick x is power 2. This is x is power 2 minus 6k1. x is power 2, x is power 2. No, no, this is x is power 2. That's plus k2. x is power 2 plus 12k1. x is power 2 minus 4k2. x is power 2 plus 3k2. Close the bracket. x is power 2. Okay? Yes. Plus, <clears throat> let's pick ordinary x. This is ordinary x. That's 6k1. Ordinary x minus 4k2. Ordinary x plus k3. Ordinary x. Ordinary x plus 8k2. Ordinary x minus 4k3 ordinary x. Ordinary x, yeah. We have ordinary x, yeah. Ordinary x, yeah. That will give us plus 3k3. Close bracket x. Plus now the constant. What are the constants here? This is a constant here. That's 2k square. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, this is another constant, minus 2k cube. At this part, we've cancelled everything out. Now, this out, this is out, so this is the constant left, plus 4k three. So, this one is out. Yeah, do you have any constant? No. Since there's no constant here, so I can see this one too, out. Close the bracket, is equal to 6 x squared. Why didn't I write exponential? Because I've cancelled the exponential with the exponential I factorized out. So you get. Now, how to turn it to quadratic equation? I can say that at this point, this is plus 0x plus 0x cube plus 0. You should understand. This is for x squared. This is for ordinary x. This is for x cube. This is for what? A constant. So you get. So if I'm to turn it to equation, I can pick the one of um, x squared. First, by picking the one of um, x squared first, should we deal with that? Okay, before even doing that, I can say that since there's no x cube, look at it. Since there's no x cube, this x cube is, is zero. Even, sorry, let me clean this. Let me clean this. I can say that since there's no x cube here, x cube is zero, then it means everything in front of x cube is zero. Let's check. This is positive minus 1 for k. Minus 4k1, k1, k3. So everything here turned to 0. Is 0 times this? This one turned to 0 automatically. Let's cancel it out. Why is it 0? This is k1 positive. This is 3k1. 3k1 plus k1, 4k1. 4k1 minus 4k1 is 0 k1. That's 0 times this. Everything here is what? Is 0. This one is what? Gone. Now, here I have um, this is positive. This is 3k. 3k2, 1k2. That's 4k2. 4k2 minus this. This cancel this out. Normal, normal. Sure you get. Here I have 3k3. 
plus ordinary KTG, that's 4 KTG. 4 KTG and this 4 minus 4 KTG will cancel out. That one is what? Gone. Now let's check what we have left. Now, this part is gone. For the part of x square, I'm only having minus 6k1 plus 12k1. That's the same thing as minus 6 plus 12. That's 6k1. That's 6k1 x square. That's what I'm having left in what is here. Okay. Now, at this part, I'm having it to be plus into bracket. I have this. I have this. I have this. So, that's 6k1 minus 4k2 plus 8k2. That's plus 4k2. Close the bracket. Ordinary x. Here you get. Now, plus. At this part, I have 2k2 minus 2k3 plus 4k3. That will give us plus 2k3 is equal to 6x squared. Now, x square x square 6k1 is equal to 6 therefore k1 is equal to 1 are you with me okay now if k1 is 1 at this part let's pick this one if i'm to pick this one you no know, the x here will be 0 plus 0 x plus 0 so that will be 6k1 plus 4k2 is equal to 0 k1 is what 1 6 times k1 6 that is the same thing as 4k2 is equal to minus 6 Therefore, K2 is equal to... Did I make a mistake there? Let's check. My K2 is minus 4K2. Why is it minus 4K2? It should be... Why is M? It is plus 4K2. Why is it plus 4K2? I think it should be minus. Is that minus? Oh, it is plus. Then it is correct. Sorry. Okay, yes, yes, okay, it is correct. Therefore, my my K2 is the same thing as minus 3 over 2. You know now, from here, make it to the subject of the formula. Now, what is K3? Back to this plus. 2K2 plus 2K3 is equal to 0. What is K2? Minus 3. So, if I put it here, that's 2 into bracket minus 3 over 2 plus 2K3. Is equal to zero. Is zero cancel this? That's the same thing as minus three plus two k three equal to zero. Take this to the other side. Two k three is equal to three. K three is equal to three over two. Therefore, k one is equal to one comma k two is equal to minus three over two comma k three is equal to three over two. Therefore. YP, what is my YP normal normal? If you go back to our video, let's trace it back. YP is the same thing as look at it exponential minus x, k1 x cube, k2 x2, k3 x. So I can say that my YP is now the same thing as exponential minus x into bracket k1 x. Sorry, k1 x cube plus k2 that will be minus 3 over 2 x square plus k3 x this is my y p but let's go back to the question what is my y c from let's go back to our previous working y c let's look for y c what is y c this is my yc. My yc is a exponential minus x plus b exponential minus 3. So I can say that yc is a exponential minus x plus b exponential minus 3x. Therefore, my general solution y, we all know general solution is yc plus yp. Therefore, our general solution is y is equal to a exponential minus x plus b exponential minus 3x plus exponential minus x into bracket x is power 3 minus 3 over 2x square plus 3 over 2x close the bracket final answer so this is how we solve um second order in homogeneous equation where the f of x is in form of product we apply the we multiply the product together so the yp will be the normal format of each f of x multiplying it together 
so that's what we call you know homogeneous second order of f of x is equal to a product of two or more function thank you